Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Two Height Chopped Part Two. We are back in the Chopped Kitchen. Our first contestant is a special guest, Chef Onasty. How y'all doing today? <laughs> um, I'm gonna give you guys a little uh, background of my story. Okay, guys. Um, we took coons, um, snakes, deers. Hell, we even cook you. Actual cannibal Shia LaBeouf. Off the side of the road. Coons. <laughs> no. Chef Zach. How you doing? I'm Zach. Um, I was raised by a single mother, so I cooked a lot of my own stuff. And uh, I think I have a pretty good chance to win. And finally, last, potentially least, we're not sure, there's a one in three chance of that. <laughs> Chef Mal. It's good. Tell that they'll quit hating on me because they're going to know about it in the comments. And uh, one time I went to Cash Nasty's barbecue and realized I need to start cooking for myself. Let's hey. find out what today's mystery ingredients yeah. are. No, it I'm kind of feeling like I don't know this was set up. We chose the ingredients before the contestants. How you cook a watermelon? How? Totally. Well, I mean, it's your choice how to use it. You don't necessarily have to cook it. Totally before the contestants. Ingredient number two. That's a lie. Jeez. What are you giving us? Dude, you don't have to put them together. You know, some dishes have two components. Check. Ingredient number three. Corn. corn. Last ingredient. <laughs> bacon. Thick cut bacon. Mm. Chefs, right now you will be given two minutes to come up with a plan. We have preheated both ovens, and again, you have everything in the kitchen at your disposal to aid you with cooking. You have a two minute planning phase right now. Chef Chris, what are you looking for oh, in this? Goodness. You know, to we'll be quite honest. Um, oh, I'm no. looking for, I like, I like bacon. I, I really do, so I'm gonna give a lot of points. If it has a nice crisp to it, I'm, I'm gonna give extra points. What are you looking for in your dish, Chef? You know what? I wanna see the watermelon used in a very creative way today. And also, bacon. Yeah, crisp bacon. Tighter crisp. Mm, some crispy bacon. Yes, that's what I'm looking for. The cooking phase begins in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 30 minutes on the clock, chefs. Go. Excuse me, excuse me. Timer has started. Now Zach has the advantage today as he is, this is his natural kitchen. This is my habitat. Chef Mao, what are we preparing today? I've never seen Zach actually use the kitchen. With some slices of watermelon. Chef Mao, how do you plan to incorporate the corn? I don't have an idea for Corn, yeah. I can't lie to you. And you're going to be cooking in cast iron today. Zach's got the other one. We only got 30 minutes. We gotta make something work. There, there's, okay. You know, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be very frank with you. There's a reason why he's called Chef Oh Nasty. Because I think his dish is gonna be quite nasty today. Oh my god! I do like my bacon and Chris. Chef on Nasty. Yes, sir. What's what's kind of your game plan going into? Oh, uh, right now I got my presentation. They got all the bacon and everything, all the tables, you know, uh, pots and everything. So, you know, I got to buy my presentation right now. I'm gonna use the oven. Okay, they got advantage over here, but I'm gonna slide right to the oven over here, right? Presentation, like like Jim said. Presentation. There's a better. My thing's good. What is that? What is that? Yes. Chef Zach, what's the game plan for today? Uh, you got something a little special. You're gonna like it. That's all I have to say. You're gonna like it. Fellas, all right. please do not burn the house down. <laughs> we want the food hot, not cold, so maybe don't cook it the so The watermelon hard. is already cold, Jim. Speak for yourself. What a nice night. Oh, mate, they're all dirty. It's <laughs> <laughs> not a clean dish in here. What <laughs> I hope your silverware is sanitized. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to cut more. I may be from England, but I don't like my food bloody. Chef Chris, what are you seeing from the contestants so far? Chef. Or judge. Judge Chris, your former former contestant, you've advanced to being a judge. Former best chef. chef. Not the best at making food, but one of the <laughs> best at analyzing it. No Fan favorite. Yes. All right. Um. So today. The way I look at it is Chef O'Nasty is 
his dish just looks absolutely minging. I mean, what is he doing? I don't think... I'm actually confused as to what, what's going on, but you never know. He is one of the best chefs here. Chef Mao, that looks to be a tiny pan for long bacon strips. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you, chefs. I've set the bar very high. So, I bet to see a dish better than mine. Or I'm gonna be very, very disappointed. Your meal had uncooked eggs. Like I said, <laughs> I set the ball high. Chef Onasty, man, we asked what you're training to do with the watermelon. Oh, yes, sir. is key. Oh, yes, sir. This man hasn't even opened up his corn. Oh. <laughs> 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 this man is only cooked bacon. <laughs> <laughs> what, did, what did I miss? Yeah, what, what's been going on in here? Where are the forks? Oh, no, Mate, you have to figure it out. <laughs> Judge. I don't Yes. What are you seeing from the contestants so far? Welcome to the A catastrophe. Most of the ingredients haven't even been touched. How does this compare to your experience on the show? Well, as the one-time champion, I, I'm just saying this wouldn't be me. You would see everything cooking. Everything, every ingredient would be being used. Nothing would be untouched right now. No! What is this? Oh, uh, no. No, I'll see Try the other way. Do Try the other way. <laughs> I've never seen a man take so long opening a can of corn. <laughs> you got a silence in <laughs> you. Silence got you, dog. If you want me to work here! I'm gonna be honest with you, mate. We haven't Jeez. moved past that bacon in over 15 minutes. <laughs> I got toast in the toaster! That mug is overcooked. <laughs> I can't fucking concentrate, dude. Dude, the way I gotta open this right here, bro, I'm literally putting in dancers in it. This man is bulky talk about the current situation? How do you feel about the chefs at this moment? One chef that's really caught my eye Ooh, is God. Chef Onasty. <laughs> the way he sliced that watermelon is just beyond me and actually quite surprising. I didn't know he could cut straight. <laughs> Let's be real. Look at his hairline. Oh! Uh, chef Onasty. <laughs> Can we get an update on the oven situation? Oh, uh, yes, it's not done yet. Question. <laughs> What if I got a question for Chef Onasty? Oh, yes, sir. Where on earth did you find that patty? Was it in the front or the back of the fridge? <laughs> um, it was in the front. Are you? <laughs> did you check the expiration date? Because I'm gonna be honest, I feel like that was included in the last oh. chopped video. No, it was. It was two months ago, mate. Ugh. Oh shit! It, that's confirmed. Is it a turkey burger? Oh, yeah. I've seen it. Oh, pass it. Let me see it. <laughs> What's the answer oh. on that date? Oh no. I'm good. Wait. Wait, I think I see it. Is it here? It's, it's right here. It's right here. It's right here. 2019. <laughs> uh, Chef Mao. Can you. <laughs> What's up? You're not gonna melt the cheese? It's all going back in the pan with the spatula. We're almost at the halfway mark and one person has not used his cheese. Two people. <laughs> the mulatto hasn't even unwrapped his melon. <laughs> the mulatto? The mulatto! Oh my god! The bald one. Oh my god. Let's be honest, mate. The light skinned one has got, you know, some experience yeah. on top of everyone else, if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what? <laughs> Getting roasted for no reason. It's alright, mate. You're not the other one. <laughs> you want to feel better? Just turn around. Look at my sandwich. Time check. Time check. Time check. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> what? This is cooked more food just roasted. <laughs> Y'all have cooked all night. Ooh, a blender alert. Oh. Oh look my. At it. Now we're seeing some Caucasianness. <laughs> oh my God. We're using beverages. We are. Oh now God. that is genius. Yeah. Oh, watch your fingers now, Zachary. Jesus Christ. And he's chopping away like it's chop pot free. Don't cut toward yourself. Always cut away. What about here as a chef? You want to see something crazy, Chef Chris? Look around. Oh, look at this. Let me be honest with you. I said Chris. Mr. Chef Onasi, I, I see an ingredient that hasn't been touched. <laughs> what ingredient? The cheese. Oh, that. Oh, my cheese. Oh. <laughs> Same with Zachary, he's cooking everything but the ingredients. 
Put it, put it, push that down. Yeah. Push it, push the tap. She's it. How did that happen? We almost lost the bloody finger. Just try pushing it down more to trap him. Oh my god. I wanted to trap that fly. Legend. That was intense. I thought his thing was gone. Oh I'm shit, I'm nasty. It's been 20 minutes and that bacon looks exactly the same. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, somebody <laughs> shut him off. I can't. Dude, you guys have to hurry up. This guy is killing me. Chefs, you have four minutes and twenty seconds. I'm aware that you're excited when you hear four twenty, but you should be focusing on your meals. Mal is still on his bacon. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? I'm doing corn. Is he eating the meal? No, I'm horny, man. I don't even touch your cheese and you chow down on the corn. Dude, I actually really want to try the smoothie. Oh man, that's gonna be bloody delicious. That's gonna be the best thing we have all day. Now, chefs, remember, it's all about presentation. If your plate looks like shit, chances are it is shit. <laughs> Not much time left, chefs. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Step away from the plates, chefs. Step away. Let's go on this side. Let's go on this side. Now, talk to us about your dish. Oh, my dish is pretty simple, home style morning cooking, kind of like uh, my mom would wake up, they'd have scattered ingredients in the house because of whatever situation we may, we may be in, and it would come up smelling good. So hopefully I did a, did some kind of decent on the copyright. I have a question. Shoot. Yeah, can you talk to I cut that out. <laughs> Yeah, I cut it off because I was I was gonna make a J out of the top, but I didn't have I didn't think about it too much. All right, chefs, let's uh let's dig in and see what we think. It smells like shit. Mal, have you ever heard of butter? No. E Luckily, <laughs> I have dental insurance. Hey. <laughs> Now, what did you do special to this watermelon? So, I just cut it. I did absolutely <laughs> That's it. it. That's all I did. I thought oh, I would. How much did you incorporate it? Not just on its own. I'm sorry, sir. I, I couldn't think of anything to do with watermelon. I'm not sure how you. What else you could do besides cut it into fancy shapes? Chef Mal. Sir. The sandwich was a solid idea. Okay. And I like that. Okay. However, I noticed Chris's, Chris's section had probably five times the amount of bacon my section did. Bacon was not evenly dispersed, and nor was there enough cheese. The corn, pretty good, outside of maybe a little too much spice. Okay. The watermelon was nice and fresh, though. Thank you, sir. Thank you, chef. There was way too much seasoning. That <laughs> it hurts. Really <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, Judge. I'm sorry. Okay, chef, this is right here. Chef. Oh, Chef Nasty. Yes. Before. <laughs> Walk us, no, walk us through his dish. He has to walk us through the dish. Okay. Cool. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, I focus more on the presentation side. The bacon, as you can see, is, is, is literally perfect. This is not crispy. It's actually how you're supposed to cook it. Bacon not supposed to be crispy. You could go with it. Uh, I, 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 I had asparagus because uh, uh, I try to, try to help out, you know, uh, healthy. You know, I eat healthy myself. Also, the corn ain't got too many seasonings. Um, the cheese was incorporated with the hot turkey bun, which is, I could have chose hamburger, I chose turkey because more protein is more healthy for you. So that's why I chose turkey burger. You know what, um, I like the healthy approach. Alright. Yeah, right. With, the, with the healthy approach. Mate, alright, I'm all about health, right? Alright, the, the approach is what you were going for, correct? Yes, sir. Where on earth? I'm just trying to figure out, you expect me to eat this? Yes, sir. Mate, <laughs> bacon is supposed to be crispy. No, sir. This is soggy. <laughs> yes, sir. All right. Have we put it in the oven, sir? Juicy. Yes, sir. Exactly why. Chef nasty. Let's move on. Okay, your bacon is dog shit. <laughs> Let's move on. <laughs> yeah. 
two. Comments, I hope y'all rip his ass up for this. <laughs> Mate, oh is this cornbread? <laughs> or is it white bread? I'm out here, man. All right, let's dig in. Right. Um, I didn't even I didn't even talk about the cheddar. It's not even, I just, you just sprinkled it. The sprinkling actually tastes good. It's pretty good. It right looks now. cooked. I will give you that, Chef O Nasty. The, 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 I, myself, cannot cook asparagus for shit. I'm scared. Chef O Nasty to take a bite of the bacon. I mean, <laughs> I mean, if you ever ate at an elegant restaurant, I'm sure your bacon would come out like that. Mm. Danny's, I'm Ooh. sure Danny, Danny's bacon would come out like that too. They don't look like full food to me. Well, when I go to Denny's, a lot comes out of my rear end. Well, <laughs> so, <laughs> turkey burger is not bad. I will give him that. Bacon's good, bro. What is it? That's how you supposed to cook it. Was well, good. I'm Dude. sorry, it just looks a little too raw for me. <laughs> no, you said that you didn't like it too crisp, like, you know? The crisp, a delicate crisp. <laughs> a delicacy. You know what I'm I'm not doing like, the bacon. Bro, ah, no. You don't have any bacon? He like Except you know, nasty, no. you know, because I love you, I'll take a bite. And for the viewer's sake, as you can notice, I took the delicate crispy side. <laughs> okay. Okay. Dog shit. Chef Nasty. Yes, sir. The asparagus? Yes, sir. Was pretty good. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. However, it was kind of the standalone, non-special non ingredient you just kind of threw on the plate. The corn, well done, well cooked. Mm -hmm. The bacon, not as crisp as I like it, but the seasoning you added to it did add to the flavor. My, my main issue with the plate is the turkey burger. It felt like it was meant to complement the cheese. But it overpowers the cheese, which should be more featured. Mm. Yes, Thank you, Chef. I understand that, you know, this is, these were very difficult ingredients to incorporate into a meal. Oh, wait, is this on the side, the watermelon? Yes, yeah. sir. I do like how thinly sliced. The way, okay, on the positive side, the way Chef o Nasty sliced his melon, <laughs> like I said before, was very surprising. James is excited. He's He's going on it. It. <clears throat> Chef Zach, can you walk us through where you use the cheese? All right, I have the, uh, I have a egg white scramble with some cheddar cheese in there. Um, I have a roasted red pepper corn. I have a uh, black pepper bacon. Wow. For these uh, smoothies, I have a, um, it's a tropical smoothie. Consists of watermelon, apple, peach, and raspberry. Mate, I'm gonna be completely honest. This yeah, is. This is delicious. This, this, this drink is I want to, I want to uh, sip. Chef Nasty, you looking? Oh, <laughs> it's actually overcooked. Way too, it's way that's, too. That's overcooked, I think the bottom too of Too crispy, bro. Only this looks like an in-between between Cash's and Zach. So Nasty and Zach, that would be perfect. The presentation is phenomenal. What is with the spicy for? Mm. That is really spicy. <laughs> Roasted red pepper corn. It's so spicy. Got a kick. <laughs> Bacon, mate. Oh, I was looking for a delicate crisp, and that was just over delicate. Uh, chefs, please stick into the other room. We are going to discuss the dishes. Yeah. Honestly, I think you can't go wrong with a good sandwich, bro. If you deny the sandwich, you're pretty much hating. I did have a, a liking to Zach's corn in his mm. presentation. Cash's asparagus was nice. I actually wanted two. But I think I got a strong, strong leg in the race here, man. I think I'm halfway in, bro. I hope the judges yeah. can see it my way and can appreciate the Southern style sandwich that I presented them with. Honestly, man, uh, the other dishes look like uh, some pretty good competition. Um, I don't know where the hell that turkey burger came from, but you know, it's, or the asparagus, but I mean, you said you could use anything in the kitchen, so that was good. I feel like they both copied off of my, uh, my uh, spicy corn, which, um, I, I mean, can see, yeah, I can see that, yeah, that's right. Um, but yeah, I mean, pretty good competition. Um, my dish, I feel like uh, my bacon was a little overcooked. Um, Malcolm's is horrible. All right, um, I, I still think he think we in the hood right now. I'm keeping it, all right, bro? <laughs> we, he, he had more tools to utilize, he didn't utilize the tools. I feel like Zach utilized his tools well, but I feel like his presentation was off. Um, and he, Zach's presentation was off? That, that's, that's me personally, me okay. personally. Okay. Um, uh, I feel like Zach meal overall was good. All right, um, I just feel like a little bit more was, it was overcooked. But um, I feel like my meal, I try to focus more on the presentation of it. 
uh, and the flavor. Literally after trying Cash and Mel's meals, I was like, okay, no matter what Zach makes, he's a clear winner. And then I bit into his bacon. And then I bit into his, his core. His core, which still fuck, it still hurts. Yeah, it actually still burns. It so. literally is burning. <laughs> but yeah. I will, you know, what's um, like amazing about this episode is the fact that the presentation, looking in, you feel that Chef Zach, it, it was a clear winner. Clear winner. But then you tried it. Here, here's my it. issue, right? Like, Chef, Chef Zach, he was the most creative with his ingredients by mm -hmm. far. Mm -hmm. Easily. By far the worst corn. Mm. Oh, and by, <laughs> no, by far the worst bacon. By far the worst bacon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it's like, ah, uh, and then it's like, Mal, I kind of like this corn the best, but what was the cheese? I, dude, the I cheese. like Cash's corn the best. But Cash's turkey bird was kind of nasty. I didn't even try it. Bro. No, the turkey bird. <laughs> <wasn't, laughs> I didn't try it. It wasn't, it wasn't was that scary. bad. But it was like there was like no cheese on it. That that was his vessel to include the cheese. You're, you're a cheesy person, and it's part of the ingredients. Yeah. But I myself, it, I like the way that Zach kind of hid that ingredient into his eggs, which the eggs weren't too bad. Bro, tell me why I'm leaning to Malcolm right now, dude. I'm kind of leaning Mel too. First up on the shopping block, <laughs> Chef Monasty. Chef Monasty. Chef Monasty. We're sending you home. Next up on the chopping block, <laughs> Chef Mel. It wasn't that we thought your food was bad. What really kind of put you behind Zach ever so narrowly, because we actually did a mathematical formula this time, what? Yes. was your uncreative use of the watermelon. We did prefer your corn, we even preferred your bacon. Mm. But you lacked creativity and soul, mm. which means our winner this week, Stop. Zach Cheesy Cheese. Season two. Chef of the week. You the chef, man. Now, Zach, don't get too excited because we almost decided on that not having a winner this week because they were all <laughs> subpar. It was very close. Yo, guys, thanks for watching another episode of Chop. I think you guys really wanted this episode. Shout out to all the contestants, Cash, Mal, Zach. It is hard to do this cooking under 30 minutes. Under pressure, trying to be creative. Chill. It's tough. It's a tough job. Make sure to check out their channels, the judges' channels, Bofi's channel. He did camera work. Everyone was super involved in this video. Hope you guys liked it. Hey, everybody! Here